Hello there and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be reviewing the first model of set number 31093, the Riverside Houseboat with 396 pieces. So let's jump into the review. So there are two minifigures included in this set, one adult and one child. So the adult is wearing this nice checkered shirt. Uh, that's a nice print, and then some nice dark green pants, uh, and then he has attached to a whip an orange fish. Now the whip is used to represent a fishing hook, um, and I think that's good part usage, um, but obviously it's the extended whip, not the rolled up whip, um, because that would the rolled up whip wouldn't work as a fishing pole because obviously it's rolled up. Uh, now, if I just remove his fishing hook, he has a nice face print, it's nice and simple and it shows a happy expression, but then he does also have an alternate expression which is more of a worried expression, so maybe his fish is escaping. Uh, now, for the girl, uh, she has these nice short pink legs and then a nice hoodie uh, with some metallic printing for the zip uh, and then you can see she's got like a green striped polo shirt underneath uh, and then there's just a hood at the back and then she has one of these nice camera pieces um, and then if you remove that you can see that um, her face print is again a nice face print it shows that she's young whereas the other one shows that he is older so it fits the age of the minifigure uh, no alternate expression though um, and then it's just a nice ponytail element so in terms of side builds for this, there's this pelican that's sitting on a mooring post. Uh, the mooring post is just because they need those pieces for a different model. Um, and it is very top heavy because there's the pelican on top, but you can stand it up. As I said, the mooring post is no nothing special, it's just three of these round 2x4, two by 2x2 two by two brown elements. Uh, but the pelican is a very nice build. It's got um, the orange beak and then an orange clip as the feet and then these white claw pieces as wings um, and then it's got a nice clear 1x1 one one round stud as the eye. Now there is also this crocodile included um, and it's holding a bird in its mouth which is kind of dark um, but the bird is just a nice simple thing, we've seen that before um, and that just goes in the mouth. Uh, now the crocodile, you can close its mouth um, it's very nice. It has two points of. It has quite a few points of articulation over the whole body, so you can bend its legs and its tail. But you wouldn't see a crocodile doing that. It they normally just have all of their body parts lying on the ground. But as I showed before, you can open its mouth. Now, the actual houseboat is a very nice build. Um, it's quite big, um, but you can easily fit both of the minifigures on, and there's lots of space for both of them. Um, now, as you saw here, there is a door, and that opens up, and then you can see inside, but you can't see inside very well. Um, 
but Lego have got an easier way to see inside, thankfully. You can remove the roof and then you can see inside like that, but that's still not all because if you turn around, if you turn it around, you can actually open this wall and that's a really nice feature. Um, it's n it's just a simple interior, it's got a mug and like, a sink area on the side and then it's got this rotating chair that's just on a 2x2 two two jumper plate, it's got this captain's wheel right here um, and then it's also got this nice orange bed and a TV and a light. Um, now it does also have this like exhaust um, to get rid of the steam because it is a steamboat. Um, and then if you turn around to the back there's another seat on a rotate but this time it's on a rotating platform so you can spin it easier uh, and it spins more and then you get another of these orange fish pieces in a bucket uh, and then another like sink area and a pot for something I'm not really sure what uh, and then round at the front um, there's a light some more lights there and then there's like this nice potted plant and then there's also three life savers one on each side and one on the front um, and then also round the back there's this ladder to help you get up onto the boat now one strange thing that I saw in the instructions is that on the page where it shows you what you've just built it has the crocodile, the houseboat, the pelican, the minifigures but what it doesn't have is this bird and instead it includes the spare piece which is used for the other two models but not this one now I just thought that was a bit weird and um, it's obviously a mistake that was made um, while they were printing the book. All in all, I think this is a great set and I picked it up for a very reasonable price actually. Um, it had normally cost about £25 and I got it for £10 so that was a great deal. Um, it's a really enjoyable build, um, great minifigures, um, a nice simple set very enjoyable um, and I would definitely recommend this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.